Rich text is a tag that helps you group multiple elements within one tag. We'll start by adding a rich text element to our project. Double click to open the rich text editor and we can immediately start typing some text which will be treated as a paragraph. You can click on the plus icon to see a list of elements you can add to your rich text. So let's add a heading here. On the right side you can see that this is a heading too. If you want to change it, click on the dots and transform it into any heading tag you want. If you've already written a text as a paragraph and want to change it to heading, you can simply highlight that text, open this drop down and transform it into a heading. If you highlight part of some text, you'll get additional options specifically for the selected text, such as making it bold, italic, setting the underline or transforming that part of the text into a link. Here you can set up the URL and you'll get some additional options connected to the linking. You can even highlight part of the text and set ID or a class to it or you can even write custom CSS which will only affect the highlighted part of the text. Now let's see what else you can add to a rich text. Besides texts and headings you can add a quote block, which is a handy for writing citations with the author's name. On the live site you can see that these quote blocks rather have a simple design. Next we have a delimiter which is a horizontal line stretching fully across the rich text tag. To upload images into your rich text simply select images option here and you can upload any image you want from your device. You can even set a caption to your image which will be a small text placed right below your image. In a code field you can write any type of code you want. That code will be displayed in a form of text and will get a unique look at the live site. You can also add tables in which fields you can type any text you like. You can add new columns or rows or if you don't like them you can also remove them. On the live site you can see the preview of how our table looks like. Now we came to the more advanced part, raw HTML. In this field you can type custom HTML to create unique structures inside your rich text and you can as well style them by typing custom CSS. On the live site you can see how our HTML and CSS are rendered. The last thing here are the lists. You will get unordered list by the default which you can fill with the content and whenever you hit enter on your keyboard new list item will be created. If you want to have ordered list instead, simply click on these dots here and transform your list into ordered list. These dots also give you option to move your items up or down or to completely remove them from your rich text. If you want to have embed YouTube or Vimeo videos inside your rich text, here is a quick trick. You simply need to copy the URL to the desired video and paste it inside your rich text and the embed will be automatically created. On the live site you can see how my YouTube embed actually works. Now that we covered all of these elements, let's look at some highlight options for text. If I type some text and click on these dots here, you'll see three different options. Switching between them will apply different highlight styles to my text, each with its unique design. Now that we've covered everything inside the rich text, let's see how to style our elements. For this example I've left only heading 2 and paragraph inside my rich text. To set styles on heading 2, select the rich text tag, open the instance menu and in the subject drop down select heading 2 and create an instance. Once it's created you can set styles through the designer panel, for example let's change the font size. One quick note here, the instance that we've created will affect all heading 2 inside my rich text tag. If you want to edit the paragraph, the method is the same. Create an instance, target the paragraph tag and set the desired styles through designer panel. Now what if you want to do some more advanced styling? For this example, let's open our rich text editor and highlight a paragraph. If I want to change the colors on this highlight, here's a trick. Go to the live site and find your rich text there. Right click on the element you want to style, find the inspect option and see if the element contains a class. Click on it and copy it. Back in the builder, select your rich text, open the instance menu and switch to custom. Add a space and a dot when you are working with classes, paste the class you previously copied and save the instance. Now while the instance is selected you can freely add custom styles through the designer panel. For example, let's change the background color, the text color and the border. We need a left border, let's set the color and make it 4 pixels wide. 
You can immediately see all the changes directly in the builder and if you go to the live site you can clearly see all the new styles that we've set. Now let's see another example. This time I'm going to add one quote here, paste the citation and add the author name. If I go to the live site and repeat the same process, you will see that this time we don't have a class on our tag. In this case, we are going to copy the tag name and go back in the builder. Again, open the instance menu, switch to custom, add one space, paste your tag name and save the instance. Let's set our tag to be flexible, set it to vertical and set a gap of 25 pixels. And you can see that with this we've created a gap between our citation and the author name. The last thing to cover is connecting rich text to CMS. I'll go to my collections, open the settings of my collection, add new field and be sure to add a rich text field. If I open my collection item, you will see the rich text editor there. In the CMS rich text, you will have the same fields and options as we've shown before. So let's go and add one heading here and one simple paragraph. Save the edits that we've made and let's go back to builder. Connecting the rich text field to the CMS is the same as connecting any other field. First, we need to go to the advanced panel and connect our collection. Then we can switch to the settings panel, open the variables, open the value dropdown and there we can see the rich text field that we've created. Select it, hit the save button and you will see that my rich text is now pulling data from the CMS. And that's everything you need to know about the rich text. I hope that you found this video helpful and learned something new. Until the next time, happy building.